that I think the Adams family would find frightening or strange would be rubber ducks. Their house is a museum when people come to see them. In Pugsley and Wednesday's relationship, it, there's a bit of hate and love. Basically, Pugsley doesn't want her sister to go away to Lucas because he's very attached to her and doesn't want her to go because he likes being tortured by her. However, Wednesday wants that independence to live on with her life, but doesn't want her brother to be very miserable and left alone. My favorite line is, when I break wind, I could start the windmills in an old Dutch painting. I like that line because it completely embodies grandma. My favourite part of the cast is meeting so many new people I wouldn't have had the opportunity to get to know before. I've made so many great friends and everyone's really supportive, even if you make a mistake. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. At the beginning of the play, Wednesday's perspective is kind of narrowed in. She's sort of got her mindset on one thing. She's not very open to anyone else, kind of putting their input onto her and towards the end of the play she's more open to ideas as she's let Lucas into her heart um, and she's kind of embracing everything around her and not being set on one emotion and I feel like I've kind of followed Wednesday on that journey and followed her perspective kind of opening as at the beginning of our rehearsal process I didn't really know the character very well and towards the end of the rehearsal process, I feel like I've, I've related more to Wednesday in a way that I can really embody her character now and feel more related towards her. And I've kind of incorporated that with the lighting design, where I've gone from setting a colour for every single Adams Family member. And I've set Wednesdays as purple to begin with, as that's kind of a gloomy colour, it's kind of one thing. And then towards the end of the play, when her perspectives widened out more, I've changed it to red and gold, which is more of a brighter colour, which I think kind of represents Wednesday changing, especially as there's two colours rather than one. So that's kind of incorporating Lucas coming into her life as well. You can crawl on, we're gonna pay a call on the Adam. My favourite line um, as Gomez is probably when I'm speaking to Pugsley at the end of the performance and I say, you embrace the darkness of your despair and suddenly the world makes sense. You are a true Adams. I think it, um, it's quite a funny way of putting what it is to be an Adams, just in a simple sentence. Everything makes sense being an Adams. They're all together hooky, the Adams family. Their house is a museum when people come to see. I think the way I got into the role of Morticia was, first of all, like, you know, watching a lot of videos of her, but also at the same time, um, she's a very complex character who has a lot of layers to her and figuring out and getting in touch with all those different layers really helped me find out like you know what her purpose is and you know why she thinks the way she thinks which I think is very helpful when I tried to get into the character of Morticia. <laughs> Um, so lighting for the Adams Family was um, sometimes a bit of a challenge, trying to mix the gloomy atmosphere of the story with stage lighting that's often a lot brighter. Um, so there are certain scenes that are quite dimmed down and low level lighting and then certain scenes like some of the songs that are really out there and exciting. Um, and yeah, I think the most challenging part for us was um, programming Crazier Than You um, because of all the effects that we had to create, um, which you'll see if you come and see the show. My favourite line for the play is, A, it's locked, because it's just very blunt. <laughs> Collaboration within the creative team is really important in a process such as this. Um, so right from the outset uh, with the director, we would work out a rehearsal plan, 
Uh, and then the important thing is ensuring that we have a shared vision for how the project will ultimately look. Um, and that before rehearsals, we're always aligned as to what we're going to do with certain scenes and with certain songs. And then, of course, comes the choreography. With regards to choreography, we tend to learn the songs first. And then when we add the movement to it, it's really exciting because it adds a lot of energy to the singing. My advice to young people preparing to be in a musical is to really get an idea of who the character is who you are trying to portray. Um, if you're preparing a song for an audition, watch lots of YouTube videos and try and steal the best bits from each one. And what we're looking for as a creative team is people who bring lots of ideas to the table. If all the ideas come from us, they're quite limited really, but if we've got ideas coming from the students as well, then the whole thing can go so much further. And always make sure you come to auditions prepared, having learnt the songs beforehand. Um, try and listen to the soundtrack in your house, try and sing along to the soundtrack. Um, and always make sure you know the words, never rely on somebody else. So whenever you're on stage, it's so, so important that um, you deliver. My favourite dance of the production is probably, I think it's probably the opening one, the when you're in Adams. Because it's just very much like it sets the tone of like the whole production and it involves everyone so it's quite like a big performance and I just think it's really just think it's a really fun dance and sets the tone. The Adams family, their house is a museum when people come to see them. So when Mr. Joe Adams, director of music here, suggested that we did the Adams family, I was totally blown away by that idea. Not knowing Wednesday's popular Netflix series, Inside Out, I came to this kind of quite fresh-faced. I've totally enjoyed every minute of the discovery and creative process. Working in a very large team with all working teachers, everyone pulls together to bring the audience a spectacular show, and it takes weeks and weeks of work. The genre that we've been inspired by has been a loosely based look at the film noir genre from the 1930s because we felt that that tied in with the original story of the Adams family by Charles Adams in the 1930s. What do we hope that the um, audience will take away from this? Um, a complete lift of their hearts and joy because seeing the girls entering into their characters and their performances is truly inspirational. There's some real talent here and it's spine tingling for all of us on a daily basis.